Hi, today we are going to learn how to create multiple invoices in one shot using the mail merge feature in Excel. So let's say this is the kind of a template that you want as your invoice. So you have the company logo here, a header, a tax invoice header, and invoice number, which is what will be changing for every invoice, your GST number, then your customer's details again, which will change for every invoice. And then what sales you did in terms of the sales items, the quantity, the rate and the amount and the taxes, shipping, any previous dues, discounts and the final total. So this is the structure that you have already created in Word using the basic features like formatting and you finally made your format for the invoice that you want. Now what we are going to do is we are going to have an Excel which has your customer invoice data. So this is an Excel which has the invoice number, customer name, address of the customer, phone number, invoice date, due date, the customer's GST, sales item, description one, two, three, along with the rate, quantity, amount, and the final taxation in terms of percentage and amount, discount, shipping, and any previous dues and the final total. So this is the data that you already have for your invoices and you want to create the invoice in this structure using this data. So automatically it will churn out three invoices. That's what you require. So let's do one thing. Let's go to the word. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into mailings and we're going to say start mail merge now here we are looking to create invoices. So we'll choose letters. If you wanted to do emails, you would choose email messages, which would generally go in the body of the email. So right now let's choose letters. So it's now telling you that you need to choose a recipient list. So what you need to do is go to select recipients, say use an existing list. Now we are going to choose the file that we had created and say open. When you do that, it tells you that, hey, I need some permission to say yes. Now, all you do is select the sheet in which your data is and you say, okay. And now it has loaded the file. Now what we need is we need to change these individual elements that you want to edit. So what we're going to do is I'm going to select this part and essentially replace it by using this feature called insert merge field. And here I see all the columns that were there in my Excel. So I'm going to choose invoice number here. So you see that has changed. And this is my GST, the company's GST. I'm not going to change this customer's name. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to say customer name. Similarly, I will take address line one and address line two and I can even have an address line three. So I'm going to add an address line three here. And then so on and so forth. I'm going to continue to select each and every column. So you select description one, quantity one, rate one, and amount one. Previous dues, if any, and the grand total invoice amount. All right. Now we have set the entire template with the individual columns that are required to fill the entire invoice. Now all you need to do is click on preview results and you can see your first invoice number is this. This is your customer's details, invoice date, due date, and the entire details from that particular 
Excel that we had. Let's just match it. You can see that it is 114128. Let's go back to the Excel and see that this was the first customer and their details are all this. The total amount was 114128. If I want to see my second customer's invoice, I can go to next year and I can preview my second customer's details. Like this, I can see the third one as well. Once I have completed all my preview results, I can go to finish and merge and say print documents. Now here I can either choose a printer from where I want to directly print or I can say click on PDF and it's going to allow me to save the entire thing as a PDF. So let's call it invoices created. Just let's give it a name and say save. Now let's open the PDF and see how it looks. You can now see the PDF has got created with all your invoices automatically printed here. This way you can create multiple invoices or even quotations or any other such documents using a combination of Word and Excel using the mail merge feature. I hope this helps you in your business. Hit the like and the subscribe and comment. What did you use mail merge for? Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.